you know what I love about Lexington is is its it, its regard for who it is and what it is that this land plays such a vital role uh, to make Lexington so special. Our family feels that it's important to um, to be relevant within uh, within our community and within the industry, and you just can't sit there and live off of uh, of the land alone. You have to share the land because uh, the economy is now growing uh, through tourism things. It's, it's now growing uh, relevant uh, to providing uh, economic development. You know, otherwise we, we lose our community and there's pressure for us to, um, to have factories and things like that. But if we can, if we can utilize this land to grow, uh, grow our fan base, at the same time grow our tourism, and then to share, then we accomplish great things. The tourists remind us each, each time we give a tour do you know how lucky you are? And uh, that's been one of the greater things about giving tours, because they remind us how very fortunate we are. Yeah, development's right upon us. Um, and, but it's okay. They're great neighbors and it's just great. Um, but we are, we form a boundary for the urban service line. The urban service line was put in place in, in 1958. And it's just one of those great examples of our our forefathers having the, the vision and the wisdom and the fortitude um, to, to protect this land, which makes Central Kentucky really what it is. So you had this, this balance of this, this great city that which, was, which was developing, and yet the land as well, which was such a foundation part. So, so what I love about Lexington is that they had this vision to put in place a framework um, to have this balance and mom is 92 years old and because of, of, of her and, and, and building out this farm, you know, it aspires us to, to do the very best we can every day to see that it, it carries on in the same way that it has all these years. And so she continues to be our inspiration and our leader. Uh, and I say that on behalf of our entire family. It's a great thing. Our children are passionate about the, the history of, of Mill Ridge and the history of, of Hal Price Headley and Alice Chandler. They want to go forward. So like them, uh, the grandchildren are grow, gonna grow up in that environment. And when I think about the role and the, the, the great uh, privilege Price and I have had to be a part of this horse country initiative, I'd say by 2050, we'll be reflecting on that.